All right, so as you can see, some rainbow shard come up, some spaghetti squash come up, and some pumpkin come up. But the peppers that I put in here ain't come out as yet. So what I decide to do is that my seed stash getting old. I got some seeds that's like some varieties that's like five years old. So what I'm doing is going through. Starting with the oldest first and planting them out, right? So we plant some purple broccoli, some green cauliflower, pink tomatoes, whatever bean that is, send him a toll of mato. So we hoping that these, even though they're old, that I still get one or two sprout that I could continue to breed. Reason being is because when I have bought these seeds in 2009, um, I get them from BakerCreek.com. It's still in operation, but Baker Creek is this place that is good all over the world and collect unique varieties of heirloom vegetables, right? So they would have put all them in a bucket and send them to me, and I would have had like a thousand or so almost 2,000 varieties of vegetables and I get them for cheap but what happened is that the government of America changed the rules so that instead of being able to put all these different varieties in one bucket and send it under one fight to a sanitary certificate which is saying that you just gotta get that basically say these are disease free or whatever and instead of doing that for each individual package no, you will go and get a certificate for each individual package. And the certificate is like, I think 150 or so, 150 US. So if I wanted to bring in a thousand varieties again, I would basically go be a millionaire. So I trying to see which ones I get that I could continue to breed, uh, just to get a little more variety into what I'm doing.